Okay, we are installing the tram model 1191, two meters and 440, 144 to 148 megahertz and 440 to 450 megahertz tram antenna. And see the link below. And I've done this before, but I didn't do it on this car. I did it on my other beater car. So we're installing this and all you really do is they send this to you and there's a peel off sticker you pretty much plan out where you want to go. Now there is a stick on, there's a box on the inside of the car. Unfortunately, I had it too far this way and I forgot to put the, there, you have to put this little metal bar on and it went too far. So I had to shove it into the car right here, into the paneling. Anyway, it's basically put the sticker on, tighten this down. This can rotate based on how you, how, how you have it. This connector has to be pointed to the right if you're on the inside of the car. It comes with coax, quite a bit of coax also, and a box inside, and then this bar that you need to install. Now I'm gonna put a bead, I'm gonna put a bead of silicone around this. I know this is overkill. A lot of people say you don't need to do it, but I like to do it anyway. An old ham taught me that trick. So if you put silicone around here, then water, dust, dirt can't get underneath there and it won't come off. It's not gonna come off anyway, but I like to do it. So I have soap up here. I had a little trouble with that, obviously. Oh, crap. I had soap ready to go. Ugh. This gun is too big for this job. So now I've got dish soap and water and I can use my finger to clean it all up. So wipe the excess off on, you wipe the excess off here. So now there's a thin piece all the way around there. That was a messy job, I don't do this every day. Don't need to do this on the inside, of course there's no water. Yeah, like I said, it's overkill, but it makes me happy, you know? It makes me happy. I like overkill. Now, as I mentioned, kind of hard to see. It's just a box with a sticker on it, a little black bar. And we will try to tune this right now. Okay, I will say you get a lot. I don't know. Uh, I don't know how many feet this is, but you get a lot of coax. So I'm going to hook it up to here. I'm looking for 146.5, and so this is what you get out of the box. 1.7. Let's see if we can beat that. So as I turn it, this is hard to do. One point three, one point two. Wow, look at that. Now I'm going back and forth. One point one seven ish. Now that's where I'll leave it. That's odd. I hate that. You take your hand away and it changes it. My hand is touching it, take it away, it's doing that. Anyway, we're at one point two, that's pretty good and I'll leave it at that. So basically, the tuning portion, for fine tuning, best performance, fine tune the antenna using SWR meter, blah, blah, blah. Rotate the tuning capacitor on the coupler box, and that's what I was doing, I was turning that. Pretty simple, pretty easy to set up, and I think I got it. Now I'm waiting, on, I got a cheap radio, I bought a really cheap two meter radio to throw in the car and I'm getting a CB as well, so I'll show you guys that when it comes.